Good evening, everyone. I'm tracking a strong barrel, which is continuing to be a more dangerous storm. Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. Let's look at this storm in its entirety. It is growing stronger and set to become an abnormal, record-breaking major hurricane in a matter of days. Folks, if you're new to my page, please consider liking this video. Please, in the comment section, let me know where you're watching from. That helps me tailor this forecast to you. I'm a trusted meteorologist with over 20 years experience in television. I like to give you early warnings of severe weather, a reliable forecast you can count on, an approach that you won't find anywhere else. And let's get right to it because we've got a lot to watch here as Barrel continues to push off toward the west. As you can see from this latest satellite imagery, the storm is very strong. It's firing on all cylinders here. Storms wrapping around it, all around it there. And it's got lots of breathing. It's venting well, which means it really doesn't have much to stop it right now. Here at home in the Western Carolinas, back through the Southeast, it's all about the heat. But I tell you, the tropics are really, really hot right now. And that abnormally warm water that would be typical in August uh, is what's plaguing uh, this system right now and is allowing it to possibly grow into a monster. We're talking about a hurricane that could soon become a Cat 2, then Cat 3 in a matter of, of short order here, which we like to call rapid intensification. Uh, that is certainly possible with this system and why you need to bear down in the islands. We told you you were going to get a hurricane. Unfortunately, now it looks like you're going to get a major hurricane. I'm going to get closer in island by island and let you know what I expect here. And then deeper down the forecast, what can the United States expect here? So we'll be watching this very closely and the monitoring situations as we move forward here. But this is one of those situations that as we get new information in from the National Hurricane Center, you should stay dialed in. The models have been in really great agreement with this making landfall in the Windward Islands and then pushing quickly off toward the west in the Caribbean where it maintains its strength. Now, I've told you early on, stronger goes more to the north, weaker goes west. A northern system is going to be from a stronger system. And it looks like this is getting pulled farther north. Not so much for you folks in Puerto Rico, but certainly for the Dominican Republic and Haiti, where it should begin to weaken at that point. But all signs point to Jamaica taking the brunt of a hit here after it makes its first initial landfall in the Caribbean islands. Then it wants to make its way toward the west. Most of the models here take it towards Central America. A few models take it into the Gulf of Mexico, but the majority of them want to take it here. Okay, hope that makes sense. It's really great to see the, the confidence in the models here, and, and we continue to stress here the Windward Islands, meaning uh, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and then Grenada. Anywhere basically Martinique South, including you folks in St. Lucia, are under the gun for this. Not to say you shouldn't prepare and be ready in Guadeloupe or Antigua or St. John's or St. Martin, but this is really gonna be more to the south of you, all right? There has been a little bit more spread in the models today when it comes to where it goes after the Caribbean, okay? So the northern models are probably the more stronger models, the, the farther south are the more weak models. And you can see here, most of the models today have inched up. You've got one outlier here that shows this thing just falling apart. The rest of them strengthen this up to a Cat 2, Cat 3. Uh, and then some want to climb this thing up to a Cat 4, okay? Really dangerous, folks. That's why you need to stay dialed in on this. If I'm anywhere in the Caribbean, I'm watching this with a with a very fine tooth comb, okay? Knowing what to do and when to do it is so key, folks. You do not want to take this thing lightly because it is a monster, a monster that you would typically see in August or September. I can't stress that enough. Normally, you would see these things come through then. Maybe you're not quite as tuned in as you would be. Maybe your friends or family are saying, it's June. We've never been hit bad in June. Well, folks, this is 2024, and this is a different kind of hurricane season, okay? 
You can see the tropical density forecast here, which indicates the lines will show our, our deterministic runs. And again, they are farther north, okay? This new GFS model is cause for concern for the United States. It has something hitting Texas the weekend after the 4th of July. Now, what its strength is like, we still have to iron out, but you can see here most of the models, including the GFS's own ensemble. So the red is just one model run. If you were to see it on TV or, or online, that's somebody just plucking one model run. But the average of all of them is this black line, which takes it toward Central America and is not as great a threat toward Texas. That said, there are more today that are pointing toward a more northern track through the Gulf. The ship's model, our tropical producing uh, behemoth, uh, is now on board with the Cat 3 forecast for the National Hurricane Center. It initially showed that, backed off a little bit. Now it's back up to Cat 3. Great way of seeing this here from Tomer Berg, uh, Tropical, uh, and, and then inspired by Deleem. Uh, this unfortunately looks like it does maintain its strength as a Cat 3 through the Caribbean. Then as it approaches Jamaica would be a Cat 2 on approach towards Central America, not the Gulf of Mexico according to that model, okay? Let's look at what our trusty European models will show. This is the European lowest pressure here from the ensembles. It wants to take that same story. Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and then Grenada, okay? Barbados, you're right there with it as well. That, that's where we see this thing going. Then it continues to remain strong according to this European model as it moves deeper into the Caribbean, brushes up against the Dominican Republic and Haiti, but because it only brushes up against it, it doesn't weaken. Therefore, it continues as a monster toward Jamaica, and then it makes its way west. Steering currents from this high pressure right here would determine that this would likely go to the west, we just don't know for certainty and can't let our guards down. You see a few of those members of the European want to take it into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see as we advance out the earlier run, um, many of them do here um, and take that through the following week. So we got time for it to be a threat to the United States. If, and again, that's a big if it's a threat to the United States, it would be the Saturday and Sunday after the 4th of July, and it would be Louisiana and Texas being the favored spots, okay? That is by no means written in Sam. But if I'm in Florida, if I'm anywhere along the coast, I'm watching this every day, folks. So please, and my commitment is always, if you're new to my channel, just to keep you posted. I'm going to level level with you. I've got family. I've got three kids, wife. We travel. We have family in different states. We're letting everybody know what's going on without the hype and just uh, you know a no-nonsense approach, okay? Here's a look at all the different runs of those uh, European models. Pretty good agreement until you get here into the Caribbean. Then some want to curve it. The rest of them, I'd say the majority of them are here in Central America, while some of them curve it up toward the north. Okay. Let's look at what the GFS is showing as far as rain, because that's my most recent update. And folks, this is this is where it gets dangerous. You've got a quick hit of some rain here. We're talking three to four, maybe five inches of rain. Once you get up here toward Dominican Republic and Haiti, if it brushes up against you, you won't get much. But Haiti, very close. Jamaica, now looking at 10 plus inches of rain. I mean, that would cause significant flooding. Then if the GFS is right, it continues toward the Yucatan Peninsula, then spills into the Gulf, where some significant rain could eventually trail up toward Texas. Now, do know that there's a secondary system that's spinning behind this. Uh, very likely becomes a hurricane as well. We're going to get more on that in just a moment. I'll show it to you on the winds. Uh, first, you got the, the wind swath. Again, right there highlighting Barbados, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Unfortunately, it looks to be a direct hit for you. And then Grenada shortly there in that path as well. From there, it would take it and brush it up against Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and then another direct hit over Jamaica, especially the southern side of the island. And then it takes it up toward the Yucatan Peninsula. And then it's much weaker, but it's in the Gulf and needing to be watched. But notice this little guy. Where did this trail originate from right here? Well, that is the second system. So I'm going to turn off the swath here and just do gusts, okay? So as we move forward here, notice there are two systems. There's system number one, barrel. Here's system number two, 
chugging right along. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a little bit of a one-two punch for you folks. So first Barbados, you would get hit, then it would go towards St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and then St. Lucia and Martinique would be somewhere in there as well. Then it chugs up toward the north, goes right over Hispaniola, and you know what that is. It's the hurricane killer. It would likely tear that apart, but could somehow regenerate and be at least some moisture in the southeast. So we'd need to watch this in the in, in even the Carolinas for this secondary system. So there's a lot to track here. Let me see what the European is showing on this bad boy. Um, we don't get out as far on that model. Let's switch it to the latest one. Here we go with barrel. Secondary system is not really much to write home about. European does not really develop that second system in a much, but the GFS does. So again, we've got a lot to track here, folks. If, if, if I can speak frankly, uh, really need to be dialed in on this as we're watching it uh, in these areas of of the Caribbean islands. And honestly, if we're watching this in the United States, you need to be dialed in on it for future risks, okay? We're talking a week away for the United States. We got plenty of time to track it. Not a time to fear or stress, but a time to just be checking back in. Make sure you're dialed in and know what this thing is going to do. And, and at the same time, if you're in the islands right now, it's go time. It, it's evacuation time for some of you there in the Windward Islands. If you can't, if you just can't do that, you know the drill. You've been here. You've done that. It's time to, to exercise your, your big hurricane plans, okay? Because this is a big hurricane. And it is the strongest hurricane the earliest strong hurricane on record this far in the Atlantic, okay? So we've never had a hurricane this strong in the Atlantic this early, okay? So it's a record-breaking system, Barrel is, and it is going to continue to be a threat as it moves inland. So please take that seriously, folks. And if you're new to the page, my commitment to you is simply this. I love weather. I've been doing weather on television in Greenville, South Carolina and uh, the southeast of, of the United States for over 20 years. My whole philosophy, whether I'm on TV or online, is to give an early outlook for forecasting so you can prepare. I, I give you a reliable forecast that's accurate so you can trust it and a direct approach you just won't find anywhere else because uh, you need that, folks. You need somebody to shoot straight with you in these type situations. So please, again, I love reading the comments to see where you folks are from. Please let me know where you're watching from. It helps me target these forecasts. And again, you can count on me. I'll have more updates for you tomorrow, more frequent updates as conditions warrant. And folks, uh, go time is Sunday night, Monday for you in the Windward Islands. And then Jamaica, we're talking sometime Tuesday, Wednesday. All right. So Get ready. Get ready for this. We'll keep you posted. Stay safe and stay tuned.